that's it. Well, this 23rd episode of the Chamberlain Bill series has been a long time coming, but I finally get to making floor patches. This episode will show you how I got these formed. Without uh, further ado, let's get to it. Doors! Like I hopefully said before in the video, this is 16 gauge. We'll see how it bends. The other stuff was 18. Shouldn't be a problem, but we'll see. It might take a little more effort to bend it. Or a lot more effort to bend it. when I have this more done because I'm tired of seeing me bend this crap too. I'd like to say it was a breeze, but it was not. But it is done. Now I just have to open fits. Doesn't look that bad. I'm gonna have to flatten, or I should say raise this part of the floor that's damaged. So it's gonna look like there's a big gap. Some of that will come in as I'm actually fitting it. Well, there's definitely a bow in the center of this piece. It's also way longer than it's going to be finished, but I wanted to do the whole piece. I wasn't sure how long a piece I would actually need. It fits inside the front and it begins to bulge out at the center, which I will now attempt to correct. Upon further investigation, I realized this has a bow in it because this piece that I welded in is dipped in. So I'm going to have to see if I can move this slowly and stretch it. We'll see how that goes. I was going to start trying to adjust that formed piece, and then I just said, hey, I'll throw it to the driver's side. And it fits 90% perfectly. So I think I'm going to make a custom form for the passenger side. Leave this one over here because I'm going to have very little to do with it. And as I'm working with this one, I can adjust to make the buck or the form for the passenger side. I went ahead and cut slits in this angle iron. It allowed me to fold this into this weird kind of shape that this rocker is making. I'm going to clamp it down, put little brackets across it, weld it in place, get it all together and give me a form so I can make a buck to form this inner piece. I'll show you more as I get going. Like I was saying, I cut slits into that piece of angle iron, allowed me to fold it into this weird shape. I made these little tie together plates. I'm going to weld those on, then I'll end up pulling this out and put a weld through the backside in this open area to give it a little more strength. It's all welded up. I'm gonna go ahead and let it cool and I'll flip it and do the centers, get some more strength into it. It's good practice for my welding. I definitely need a lot more practice. I still gotta figure out how to adjust this, this helmet because I'm just not seeing it right. My biggest problem, I can't see what I'm doing. So I gotta keep playing with the settings because I'm losing track. It's so dark to me, I'm losing my follow lines. Let's start taking the clamps off. Yeah, that's not great. That's not good at all. Now oh, the whole thing moved. Okay, this makes me feel a little better. Wish I had a better clamping system over here. I've got out of the car, flipped over, clamped down, and we go ahead and run some weld into those slices. All my little filler welds are ground down. They look a little meh, but they do exactly what I need them to do. I'll get this whole welding thing at some point. Ow. Oh yeah, that is 10,000 times better. That is gonna make a huge difference. I wish I'd done a little more to the ends, but that's just gonna have to be okay. It'll be much easier to fix each end than to deal with the middle, because the middle is a giant problem. 
So time to start bending some steel. Well, if you can see that the center is raised up and the ends are down, I'm take my time and start uh, going at it. Let's hope this thing fits, or I just wasted a lot of time and effort or nothing. This is the first time I'm putting this in here. I'm happy with it so far. Let's actually fit it and see where it is. Well, I'm gonna adjust it a bit and I'll show it to you guys. Well, I'll show it to you guys and gals and whoever the heck's watching this thing. I can't believe it, but both of the pieces of flooring are in. Neither of them are in their need to be final position or anything, but they are in. Driver's side fits fantastic, which is awesome. It's a lot less work than I'm gonna have to do. Still be some things I have to tweak here and there. Might not look it, but the passenger side is Oh, 80% better. I'm gonna have to adjust some things. This angle in here, I'm gonna have to tighten it up a little bit and push it back in some spots. That's doable. Biggest things for structure, I need to attach this one through here into the rocker and into the flooring. There's gonna be tubes, which I can now start cutting that will support the rocker to the frame. And then I will attach the flooring to that tubing. So I'm more to putting these floors in and just forming the sheet metal, unfortunately. I'm also making six of these tubes, which we'll see in the next episode. Forming them, they're gonna go up in between the Cherokee frame and the Rambler rocker. So it's gonna give me a solid base to lock everything down to. It's part of why I put the seats in, in the previous episode. Or... No, it's in the next episode. That's things all starting to run together. Like, share, and subscribe. I greatly appreciate everybody watching. Thank you so much. If there's anything you wanna know, feel free to ask. Lots more stuff coming, lots more vehicle content coming. If I can ever get this thing done. See you next time.